In Back to School and Beyond coverage, one out of five Michigan students say they currently vape. And school districts in the UP are trying to lower this rate. TV6's Clint McLeod shares how different districts are addressing the concerns in their buildings. In all corners of the UP, school districts are fighting to discourage students from vaping. At nice community schools, its policy is suspension-based, and the length of the suspension depends on what type of vape a student has. If we catch a student with a, with a vape device that uh, is nicotine-based, then they get suspended for three days. If a student gets caught with a vape device that has marijuana in it or some sort of THC concentrate, then that's a much longer long-term suspension. De Augustine says last year there were about 10 long-term suspensions. He hopes the current district policy is a deterrent for vaping. The idea is to try to just, the, you know, to get the kids who are thinking about, well, should I do this or shouldn't I do this, to try to just, you know, hammer it home that it's not worth it. You know, if we can't convince them on the health side that it's not worth it to their, you know, their physical well-being, that, you know, to make it clear to them that it's not worth it, you know, to get in trouble. In Kingsford, Brighting Township Schools has added a second school resource officer to its high school, middle school building. The two officers can assist administration with vaping discipline. You may use, uh, use him to write citations. Um, you know, that essentially if a student is doing that on, on, on student on, on school grounds, you know, it, it is illegal. Lindbeck says the punishment for having a vape can range from a one to three day suspension from school. The principal adds that this year the district is bolstering its social programs to better connect students with each other. If they're involved, they're less likely to go down that path of, of, of vaping um, and and you know be a part of something positive of all all different uh, different organizations that we have. De Augustine and Limbeck say they need to remain proactive when handling student vaping going forward. Clint McLeod, TV6 News.